Hello everyone, my name is Megan Lavoda and I'm an ENFJ and I'm going to share with you guys today some ways to distinguish ENFJ and INFJ wisdom. Now I haven't ever done like an official like ENFJ versus INFJ video so if you're curious about what type you might be this video might be helpful for you but it's not going to be super comprehensive. I really just wanted to share one thing I was thinking about after having a long talk with my INFJ girlfriend uh, last night. Um, so a lot of my life as an ENFJ, I've been told by people that I should think before I talk a little bit, you know? So I'm curious, do you, how, to what extent do you think before you talk and what type are you? Uh, leave a comment below. I'm curious what you think. But um, I don't really think before I talk. And that's something that I've wanted to improve. Um, but at the same time, I've been realizing that that's actually sort of a gift that I have, that I don't have to think before I talk. Because at the same time, I don't really open my mouth um, unless I know what I'm about to say. So I know before I talk, but I don't necessarily think before I talk. Now, I'm sure not all ENFJs or ENFJs are gonna relate to this 100% because there's lots of other factors. But for example, my INFJ girlfriend said that she um, will sometimes not talk because she's planning in her head the way to phrase it. Now, I definitely don't relate to that, but I've noticed that some of the best wisdom that I've ever received in my life has either come out of my own mouth unexpectedly or something that I've observed because I was rambling and venting to somebody and then I sort of looked at myself from a different view or heard myself out loud and I was like, huh, I keep talking about this thing. This thing must be important. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. And I don't know if this is gonna be just an INFJ, ENFJ thing or if it's an extrovert, introvert thing or if there are other factors, but I do think that this is a line that can, be, can separate INFJs and ENFJs is to what extent do you find yourself just like blabbing about something without planning or without an idea of what it is that you're going to say and to what ex which would be more of an ENFJ thing or to what extent do you ruminate and know exactly what you're going to say and exactly what you're going to do before you do it so some of this has to do with the fact that I have tertiary SE, which is something that I can use uh, sort of flippantly and haphazardously, whereas INFJs use their SE as an inferior function. But really, what I want to get across here is that there are wis there is wisdom to be found both in the internal and the external. And both of the NFJ types are known for being... Um, uh, visionary, um, compassionate, charismatic leaders in the sense that they um, know how to have a really good idea that they've zoned in on and perfected. With NI and TI, we are the sorts of leaders that really focus on understanding and truth. We seek understanding and truth to its very core and then we charismatically share how we think that should be like externally you're seeing um this very i know i keep saying the word but charismatic you're seeing this very um emotionally present emotional presence just sort of out there but internally when we're focused on reaching a goal or whatever, we're focused on understanding uh, and truth and it's very piercing. And um, that's why a lot of us are considered like super like wise. Like you think of INFJs as that like sort of sage 
Um, and then you think of ENFJs as like this Martin Luther King, Oprah sort of um, religious leader. A lot of a lot of NFJs seem to be religious or spiritual to some extent. Either that, or they are have some sort of life philosophy, whether they are religious or not, or spiritual or not. The things that flow from our mouth as NFJs seem to be like this sort of has this sort of esoteric quality or like wisdom to it. We are, we do tend to be wise. We are definitely more wise than we are smart or intelligent, if you want to get really specific. Um, I mean, we are intelligent, we are smart, but, um, NFJs can be very, very wise and then not really know how to apply that in a logical way is a problem that tends to happen. But the difference between INFJ, where they tend to get their wisdom, is from ruminating. They they sit and they ruminate and they process what uh, they think and that's how the best wisdom, that's how they get most of their wisdom. And ENFJs get most of their wisdom through talking to people. I have been so just lit on fire today because I've been having just multiple conversations going on at once with close friends about my life and my goals. And um, whenever I'm like that, I find myself saying things that I didn't even know that I believed. And I find myself saying things where I'm like, whoa, like, that is actually really powerful and really motivating. I motivate myself when I like listen to myself talk. And I mean, I think that INFJs can experience that to some extent. What you have to understand is that I use NI as my auxiliary and INFJs use FE as their auxiliary and we all can tap into our auxiliary function, but it's not going to be the thing that we're just like doing when we're on autopilot. So yes, INFJs are going to relate to what I'm saying to some extent, like you've been there and you know what I'm talking about, but it's not the thing that helps you get the most of your wisdom the way it is for me. The way that, just from observing the way that I am and what I gravitate toward tells me so many things about who I am in life and everything, just from being. And I think that when you learn about yourself and about life just through being and expressing like actually in with the external world you have a different angle than the angle that you would have when you are ruminating and processing the way that introverts in general tend to do um uh, but uh the thing is that there's some drawbacks to both and some benefits to both and if you feel like you're a little lopsided on one, I definitely recommend trying out uh, another way to get a little bit more um, balanced, you know? Um, but INFJs, if you are too in your head, then you can't see the problem from a bird's eye view and it's really hard to detach. Um, it's really hard to know if you have limiting beliefs or fear um, that are clouding your view. That is for somebody who only gets their wisdom through ruminating um, in like silence or processing in the background, even if they're with people. Um, so if you are doing that too much, it might be helpful for you to, um, I'm sorry, the light is sort of distracting. Um, it might be helpful for you to share more I mean, my girlfriend, like last night, she just was in a talkative mood and she was like, whoa, I've never said this out loud before. I didn't even know that I think or feel that. And like, I think that that's common, you know, um, for a lot of people who as self-aware as you are not saying anything and processing, you're not as self-aware as you could be is if you could see what you're saying, um, from a different angle. And the same thing goes for ENFJs who are always preaching, who are always sharing their insights the moment they get them. 
I sometimes feel like I have, I'm just, I have word vomit. Like the moment I realize something, I feel like it's my job to say at least just a nugget of wisdom because I feel like it's my job to help somebody. I don't care who it is. I just want to help somebody. If we don't take the time to process and ruminate over all that wisdom that we discover, then we aren't going to be able to really internalize um, what we found. So these are just the two ways that these wise NFJ types can discover their wisdom and hopefully this video helped you think of a way to tap into another way of having wisdom. Um, everybody, every type can be wise. Um, I'm just sort of going with what I always hear people say. So not trying to say anything that I've said is set in stone or that only NFJs do this. But um, I do think that noticing the slight difference between these two things can be helpful for somebody who is unsure whether or not they're an INFJ or ENFJ. So thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram or uh, reach out if you have any business inquiries, I am currently, um, my offerings are under uh, construction. I plan to do like typing and mentorship and things like that, but that is all under construction. If you want to reach out, give me any ideas ideas or like something that you might be interested in having my help with I would appreciate that um I also have a free um Facebook uh page called personality typology for self-growth Facebook group I meant to say if you'd like to join in on the discussion and meet some people in there thank you for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day